A giraffe is about to give birth, and the zoo where the giraffe is at in New York was live streaming it on YouTube until the stream was rejected by YouTube because of nudity and adult content. <laughs> So uh, there's the cute giraffe, and she's in labor, and we actually have some amazing facts on giraffe labor in just a second, <laughs> um, but let me give you more details on what's going on. So zoo owner Jordan Patch took to Facebook Live Thursday morning saying, YouTube shut off the giraffe live stream because of, quote, nudity and sexual content. <laughs> Patch said a handful of extremists and animal <laughs> activists caused the cam to go dark. I mean, what is going on with extremists in the country? Like, they're even anti-giraffe births. Yeah, well, I don't understand. I, I would consider myself to some degree an animal activist. I'm vegan. I love animals. But I don't understand why a live birth would be considered wrong. Or they said sexual content? What? It's educational. It's natural. It's beautiful. And so then I actually thought maybe this zoo had some, like, prior allegations with, like, animal abuse. And this yeah, was, like, yeah. a way for them to go after it. So I did some research into the zoo. And the zoo is very well respected. Most of their animals come in from uh, rescues mm -hmm. or people that surrendered the animals or their abandoned animals. So this this zoo is, is, is all about conservation, all about education, all about rescue. So it's just I can't connect the dots why people are offended. So uh, I actually think maybe they mistook the long neck for a flag and it's a false flag operation. Oh. Okay. No, like seriously, like like they did at Berkeley with, with uh, they uh -huh. infiltrated and did whatever the hell they did. Like, why would any animal activist be against a live birth of an animal? They wouldn't. A that normal make any animal sense. activist would not be against the birth of a of life. If, if anything, they would have celebrated this, and this is bringing funds to this zoo. So yeah. they would want that because this zoo wants to build bigger enclosures for the giraffes, and any animal activist would would want that. Yeah, so is this really an animal activist thing, or is this like a ridiculous Puritan, like a, a ri ridiculous consequence of like a Puritan society? Like what is it? Like were people really freaked out by the fact that yeah, this is an animal giving birth? Obviously we're guessing here because we don't yeah. know yet, but it, now that uh, we're doing speculation, as Bush would say, uh, I can imagine there's only two sets of people who might have done this. One is like weirdo religious people who are like, oh my God, I see a vagina of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm strangely, uh, you know, turned you know, on turned by on it. by it, and, and as a hence, it must be shut off for all of mankind, <laughs> right? right? Um, or just the usual teenage trolls, yeah. like who's an extremist of giraffe births? Yeah, <laughs> like I didn't know there was a thing you could be an extremist about, right? Because oh, if the animal was harmed, if this zoo had a bad history. If they weren't into rescue, then I would think, okay, that's why the animal activists were involved. But clearly, from but, what I found, that's not the case. So, yeah. And if it's not an animal activist and it's an extremist of a different sort, I don't know that this or fits in the- Or it's a troll, or it's a troll. It doesn't yeah. fit in the political spectrum. Right. I don't think giraffes are a liberal or conservative thing. I don't know, man. I feel like anything in this country can be politicized at this point. Anything. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, well, I tend just to happened, agree with you. Right? <laughs> Look at the giraffe. Can I talk about some yes. of these? Okay, because when I was looking at the story, I was just really into the giraffe giving birth. I'm six months pregnant, so I was like, wow, I'm curious about giraffes and pregnancy and all that stuff. So I looked at giraffes, first of all, they're pregnant for 15 months. Wow. I'm struggling at six. Wow. It's been a, a, for me. It's been a pretty easy pregnancy until like a week ago. Now I'm starting to get a little bit more out of breath and a little achy. I can't imagine for 15 months. Jesus. And then when the giraffe does give birth, the the baby giraffe is is six feet tall, 150 pounds, and walks in an hour. The giraffe is just like up walking, wow. six feet tall. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. I know. And they're they're usually the the giraffes. So with this giraffe, I guess they've been tracking the giraffe for the last few days because their labors can last from like one to three, maybe even to five days. That's a long, intense mm -hmm. labor, and they don't show signs of any distress like many of the animals do in the animal kingdom. So they they're they're tracking it. They know that the that the, that the giraffe is about to give birth, but they can't really see if it's hard labor or not because right. she won't show signs of distress. Yeah, she hasn't given birth as of yet. So as we're doing the story, she hasn't give, given birth yet. And they say that her uh, birth is imminent. Mm -hmm. So any minute. Mm -hmm. Turn it back on. Uh, it's okay. on. No, it's on. Okay. Yeah, it's back on. I was on. looking oh, earlier. Thanks God. It's on. Thanks, yeah. God. It's very okay. interesting. It's awesome. <laughs> but and you know what? This is going to help them because now all of a sudden everybody's going to want to see uh, yes. the birth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. By the way, um, it's really interesting that this happened with YouTube. And honestly, what, I think one of the flaws with YouTube is some of the 
some of the stuff is kind of automated, right? Or it automatically happens if enough people flag a video or whatever it is, right? So I think that's what might have happened, and then they realized. See, I knew it was a false flag operation. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, came back around. And then YouTube will then realize, oh, there's nothing wrong with this video, and they'll put it, put it back up, which is what I think happened here. But there's all sorts of um, videos on YouTube. They're not live videos, but videos on YouTube of women giving birth. That was the first time I ever watched a woman giving birth, and it was actually and the best. And it. No, it, I didn't live <laughs> to regret it. Crazy, right? It's Y yes, I forgot that you're pregnant, so I'm just going to stop talking now. No, it's no. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of them. I've been watching like cesareans. God forbid if I were to have to get a, get a cesarean, if I'm put in that position. I've been watching water births. I've been watching all psych all sorts of births, and it's crazy. It is crazy. It's crazy. Well, you know, so I had a friend who said, um, for a guy to understand a birth, she's like, it's like pushing a bowling ball out of your ass. Like that's how painful and and, and strenuous yeah. it was. Now imagine if you're a giraffe, you're pushing a six, six foot, foot bowling ball out of your ass. One hundred and fifty pounder. <laughs> yeah, but I mean it's proportional, right? Yeah, giraffes are bigger. It's so proportional. Bigger regime, it's proportional. So. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. <laughs> I've been looking at a lot of pregnancy videos too because I'm also six months pregnant. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> My stomach's much bigger than yours. Uh, yes, I don't it think is. So. Mine is, I mine don't is think much so. bigger than yours. Can you see? Look at that. Sam, I gotta be honest. Okay. Like from the okay, front. Okay, all right, now let's take a look at mine. Yours. From uh -oh. the front, you don't okay. even look pregnant. Okay, it's insane. From the front, I I Oh wait, let's see. Okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> go like this, go like this. Do, do this, do this. Okay, oh no. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh my god! Mine's bigger. Mine's bigger. You sure? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. That's tough. Animals are innocent. TRTnetwork.com slash join.